Hey YouTube, this is Star Strike Duelist here with Multi Monster Deals to bring you guys a Yu Gi Oh! duel. This match took place at the MMD SJCS prize card tournament this past weekend, and it is between Omar902 Dowdy um, and Kyle Kemper, and this is the top four. I did record the top eight match. Unfortunately, there was an error um, in the way it filmed and it cut off, so uh, unfortunately, we only have the top four and finals match. Uh, but the finals was also a really good game that will be uploaded in the next couple of days, so I hope you guys uh, will enjoy that as well. So Omar is actually going to start off the duel uh, with a very uh, strong Shadal Fusion play. Obviously uh, the mirror match can be pretty stressful sometimes because you have to make sure you use your fusions well enough uh, to the point where you're not letting your opponent capitalize too much off of their own fusion. So it can go back and forth for a while. So let's see how this one goes. Um, I actually fast forwarded the duel about uh, 0.5 uh, speed so it went a little bit faster because the original time match was like 26 minutes long and I'm pretty sure people don't want to sit there for that long watching a Shadal Mirror match so I went ahead and speeded it up a little bit. I don't think it's too fast. If it is, I'm, I apologize. I didn't think so. Um, but yeah, Omar opens up very strong uh, going into the, uh, you know the play where you tribute off the fusion. I talked about this. Uh, you tribute off the fusion. Uh, in order to set something so you can add the fusion back to hand. Um, it's a very strong opening play because now uh, Kyle can't fusion from the deck in case uh, he had a fusion of his own. So it's a, it's a very good play to do in the mirror match. And uh, Omar is pretty smart for doing that. So our, Omar is actually playing the artifact variant of the deck uh, while Kyle is playing the baby dragons, little baby chaos dragons, the white and black ones. So both players uh, will be playing separate variants, which uh, is pretty cool because you get to see uh, both sides of it. Um, I like both variants. Personally, I've been playing the Baby Dragons because uh, that's what I'm used to, but I can see why the Artifact variant is also very strong. Uh, Sanctum just being an amazing card and Moral Tech making your Soul Charge plays even better to go into things like Pallades. And of course, it is obviously a light for Shadal Fusion. Now, uh, Kyle is going to go into one of his own uh, Fusion plays, so let's see what he goes into. But yeah, guys, um... I recently started school for, uh, just going to do a couple updates now. I recently started school today, actually, my first day of junior year. Um, and I realized I'm probably going to have to start recording more videos ahead of time in order to get them up uh, soon enough because I get home from school around 4 because I practice after school. And when I get home, I'm usually, like, super tired, so I'm kind of, like, not in the mood to make videos, unfortunately. But don't worry, the videos will still be coming because I'll probably just, like, record them ahead of time and make sure that they're up. So, there's that. Um, gonna have to probably focus on school a lot this year because this is my junior year and it matters a lot to me. So, there's that. But I will be in the Yu-Gi-Oh! scene, of course. It is, like, my number one hobby. Um, outside of school, so I will be at YCS Texas, um, I'll be at all the regionals near me, I'll even be going to Las Vegas Regional, uh, so I'll definitely still be involved in the game. But anyway, going back to the duel, we have a Dark Arm and Window on field on Kyle's side, um, so pretty good on his side for now. Let's see what Omar is able to do next turn. Let me know what you guys think of the Shaw Mirror match. I know some people don't really like it, but some people do. I personally think, like, Playing it is extremely annoying, but watching it is kind of cool sometimes because you get to see like who gets the final fusion, who are able to like establish a good board and like draw vanities and stuff like that, or even sacky cards like Dad and Dark Arm, uh, not Dad and Dark Arm, Dark uh, Dad and BLS. So there's that too. This will actually, as I said, uh, be the full match. So uh, it'll be games one, two, and three depending on who wins. I won't spoil that for you guys, uh, but yeah. So. Kyle's going to go in and attack. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Dragon's going to get to use its Compulsor-like effect to bounce back uh, the window. And let's see what Omar's able to do. So he's going to go ahead and just set a monster. Or not. Okay. But yeah, guys, sorry to those who actually like to hear the original volume of the video. But honestly, like, the original volume was just, like, a bunch of people talking in the background and, like, a bunch of, like, buzzing noise and stuff. So, like, I, I don't really know, like, if that's better. But if, if you don't want to hear me talk, you could just, like, mute the video and play, like, background music or something. Uh, but I didn't want to talk strictly for just talking about the event and, like, my updates and stuff because I want to keep you guys updated. Uh, the event itself was really nice. Thank you to everyone who came out. It was a pretty good turnout, and I appreciate everyone who came, uh, gave the effort into coming uh, and just supporting multi-monster deals. Like, we really appreciate it. Hopefully, we can hold uh, more uh, tournaments in the future for you guys to come down. Um, 
the SJC Gold Stark one was actually pretty big, uh, because a, actually a Gold Stark like that can go from like a thousand dollars and up. You know, like you might be able to find it for like nine hundred if you're lucky, but they usually go for over a thousand dollars. So that's pretty good. And there'll be buyers, you know. I know there's like a couple people that would buy them, so it's definitely not hard to like sell it all. But thank you again. Um, it was a pretty cool event. We gave out the top sixteen mats. Uh. I didn't actually show you guys that mat in the next video, probably in like a deck profile or something, because they came out pretty nice. If you want to see the images and all the um, it's the pictures of the winners and all that stuff, go check out the Multi Monster Deals Facebook page, uh, because everything is posted on there. If you have Twitter, you can check out our Twitter as well. All the links are always down in the description below. But yeah, guys. Let's see, so... It's kind of at that grindy stage right now uh, between Omar and Kyle. We see like a bunch of set cards, uh, but none of the fusions out at the moment. At one point during this video, I'm probably just going to cut it and play music for you guys because I don't want to babble on for like forever. Uh, but I hope you guys do enjoy the duel because I think it was personally like a pretty good game. Mathemat I like Mathematician a lot, to be honest. Like, I know a lot of people do prefer the Armageddon Knight. I think Armageddon is very strong if you're playing one of the variants that, like, abuse Soul Charge a lot. Like, if you're playing the Thunder Dragons and things like that. But, like, overall, I just really like Mathematician as a card. Um, you guys saw in my deck profile that I did play uh, Mathematician. Let's see, let's go ahead and send another one. I think in the mirror match, establishing uh, field field advantage, like field control, is like very important as well. That's the other one, of the other uh, very crucial things in the mirror match. And then Armadies, obviously, if Armadies didn't get that reprint, it would just like stayed at that high price to be honest, because it's one of the best synchros in the mirror. I remember playing my first Shadal tournament without Armadies because it was just way too high and we didn't have access to it because we had sold it already from our shop. Uh, we had sold like multiple copies that weekend, so I played without it, and I missed it so much. Like honestly, I think it's one of the main cards needed in this deck. It's just really good. Sorry for the random uh, shakiness, like within the video. Like the table is not very stable. It's just one of those fold-up tables. So anytime someone hits on it, the camera moves. Uh, it doesn't happen too often, but like it does happen a couple times. So sorry for that. Hopefully it doesn't affect you guys uh, in your ability to watch the video at all. So Kyle is once again going to go into his own Shadal Fusion play. This is what I kind of mean, guys. Like, honestly, like, it looks like one person has control, but then one person just goes for their Fusion play and is just able to take, like, complete advantage back. So, like, you never know what's going to happen. Um, your opponent can also top deck Shadow Fusion. Like, like, if you know they have it, like, obviously it's easier to play around it because you can... Uh, Make sure you have either answers for it or don't leave your fusion on board. But if your opponent top decks it, you know, there's not much you can do uh, if you didn't have an answer at that point. So let's see what's going to happen now. So as I mentioned uh, before, the finals match will be uploaded in the next couple of days. Probably like by... Thursday at the latest. If this goes up Tuesday, it'll be probably be up like uh, the day after next. So you guys don't have to wait too long because people would then probably lose interest. I know I don't want to wait like a week to upload the next match or anything. So it'll be up soon. Um, videos I upload from my camera uh, usually take really long to upload for some reason. Like when I do it from my phone, because um, when I record discussion videos and stuff, I usually do it from my cell phone because uh, I have an iPhone 5 and it looks pretty nice. Uh, but when I want to do like deck profiles and like duels where I have to use like the tripod and stuff, like the videos just take forever to load. Uh, so sorry if they're not up the day they're meant to be up. And I realized that game one actually lasts a long time. Um, I, I was sitting there next to them. Uh, making sure the camera was fine, and I just realized I was like, is this still game one? And it turned out it was still laughing. Yeah. But guys, um, a couple of exciting videos actually coming up. Uh, probably a Teller Night deck profile coming up soon. I also have another special video 
Uh, that should be uploaded pretty soon. I don't want to give it away, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But some pretty cool things coming up, so keep uh, stay tuned for that. Just because I started school doesn't mean the content's going to be lacking at all. I will try my best to uh, make sure I make videos on time and stuff. Sometimes it just gets hard because I'm still adjusting to my school schedule. So as you can see, uh, Kyle was just able to make like a brilliant bo uh, board with like Soul Charge. So at this point, um, you could basically tell that uh, Kyle is going to actually end up winning this game. And it's, it's not a big surprise. Like Omar does run out of Shadal monsters, I believe. So Kyle's just able to completely take advantage with Soul Charge. So. And yeah, um, Omar's actually going to end up uh, and end up scooping it up because Kyle does win a game one. So it's going to go ahead and go into the other game. So uh, I want to thank you guys, everyone, for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the duel. Uh, I will have the finals up as soon as possible. Uh, make sure you give the videos a thumbs up if you want to see the finals so I know you guys are actually enjoying the videos and they don't, don't hate them or whatever. But guys, uh, leave your comments down below. We're all, also looking forward to seeing your feedback. And we'll go ahead and play some music in the background for the rest of the duel. And yeah, guys, I will see you later. Bye.
Hey guys, if you would like to stay in touch with me, please check out my social networking websites as well as multi-monster deals for awesome coverage and articles. But anyway guys, I will see you later. Bye.